Hi guys, my name is Philip and I'm a front-end developer. In today's video, we'll be exploring how to use the Weather Forecast API with React.js. So as you probably already know, React.js is a modern JavaScript library known for its efficiency and flexibility. So in this video, we'll go over code, how to in integrate and implement React.js with a Weather Forecast API. So the first step is to open your code editor and create a React app. The code for this is you open up a new terminal and type in npx create react app and the app name. Let's just call it weather app. As you can see, I've already created a weather app here. So we won't have to wait through the process of uh, the creation of the weather app in React. Now, once this is done, all you have to do is open app.js and simply go through and paste the following code here. So let's quickly review what's happening in this React code in app.js. First, we import the use state and use effect hooks. We need them to, state, to store weather data and potential errors. So in the first few lines of code, we set the weather data to null as well as the error. This is with the help of use state. Then we use use effect. Use effect is a hook that runs once the web page loads. So this is where we'll do our API call. We're setting the options uh, parameter to a get method, and we're fetching from the URL. Make sure to properly implement your API key here and paste it from the API key you get from tomorrow.io. Then, once we get the response back, we set the weather data with the use state method, as shown here, which we initially set to null. And if there are any errors, we catch them and console log. Now, if there aren't any errors, all we have to do is simply put the weather data that we got back in the response in the HTML. And for this, we'll be using an h2 tag and a pre tag. This code is relatively simple and running it is even simpler. To run it, all you have to do is move into the React app with CD Weather app and simply type npm run start. And here's our output where we can see detailed weather data for the location we asked. This gives us a minute-by-minute -minute data on incredibly detailed parameters such as cloud base, cloud ceiling, cloud, cloud cover, dew point, and much, much more. And that would be it. You now know how to run a weather API with React.js. Thank you for watching.